Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Movie and Makeup Moment. Today we are going to react to the trailer for The Midnight Sky. It's a new uh, Netflix original movie and it will be released, I believe, um, December 23rd. December 23rd. So this would be a great movie to watch with your family for you know, Christmas Eve Eve in our family. The Eve of Christmas Eve is also an event, so <laughs> it would be a fun movie. All right, so let's just get into it. Before we get started with the trailer review, before we get started with the trailer reaction, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Hang out a while. Um, it should be fun. Um, let me scoot you over. Perfect. If you can hear my husband talking, I am very sorry. He is interviewing someone currently. So he ha he has a tendency of just talking really loud. We all kind of do in my family. All right. So let's get into it. Come in, Ether. This is Barbo Observatory. Are you receiving this? Is anyone out there? This is Ether. Does any one copy? We're not receiving anything. That puts our last contact with Mission Control out. Three weeks. Okay, so my first reaction is this is really. Um, oops, sorry guys, I'm just fixing the volume. Um, this is really, you know sci-fi it looks really well done um i love george clooney i think a lot of people love george clooney and i feel like he hasn't done a lot recently so i'm sure that this is going to get the views i feel like netflix is really killing it with their casts lately um i'm wondering what's up with that little girl uh i did read the synopsis before watching this so i'm sorry i know a little bit more than i usually do so i don't know if that's gonna ruin um my reaction to the trailer or not um but let's keep watching why is it so quiet that's either it's a spaceship that we hoped would be our future I have to warn them about the conditions on Earth. Okay, so it looks like he's not alone. Um, he has the little girl, but then in that scene that we just watched, there were people behind him. Uh, so I'm hoping that's not a flashback and the, you know, post-apocalyptic world that he lived in lives in is not that bad. Uh, but it sounds like it's bad enough that they don't want them landing on Earth. I wonder if it's one of those weird situations where the people who are left um, have kind of adapted and evolved, but there's no telling what would happen if the new people, like the people that were not exposed to that came and like maybe it would kill off like 80% of those people. I don't know. Let's watch. I don't know all the details. It started with a mistake. What is that? There is an antenna that's stronger than ours. We get to that antenna, they'll hear us. Take a deep breath. In our galaxy. So someone in the comments of this trailer, and I shouldn't have seen it, but I did, um, said that they their theory is that they do not believe that the little girl is real. I have to kind of disagree. I feel like the little girl is real. That would be kind of weird if she wasn't. I mean, movies have done that before, but just the way that they're kind of highlighting her as such an important part, I guess she could be symbolic of the future, um, but my guess would be no. Alone, there are billions of stars. At least one of them has the potential to support life. thinking a lot about time okay so he said something about the stars and one of them has to be the potential to support life so i wonder because of all the snow i don't know that doesn't really make sense i'm sitting here thinking like maybe something happened to the sun and it got very very cold on earth uh but you wouldn't have light or would you i don't know you, you see what i'm 
going for, right? That whole idea. Let's keep watching. Why one person lives a lifetime, and another only gets a few years? We made a promise to our families. You want to be an explorer? Ah, cut to my voice! But why are you doing all that? Your own life. Oh my god, if they kill off this little girl, and I'm guessing her name is Iris, like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to watch this. Like, that's like that movie Come Away that's coming out in theaters this week. Like, I love, uh, what is it, Samara Weaving, and I want to see that. But the whole idea of a little girl, especially that age, or like a little boy, like in Come Away, where you're like the adult trying to come through and save that child. Like, that is just like, ah, I can't. Life is just slipping away. That's why I have to contact them. Oh, it's too late. Oh, directed by George Clooney. Oh my gosh. Directed by George Clooney. That's interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen, I mean, maybe I have seen a movie that was directed by him and I'm just not aware of it. Um, I feel like sometimes that can happen. Here, let me fix you real quick I want to talk to you about that because this trailer okay it's pg-13 which automatically means that more people are going to be able to see it although it's on Netflix so I, I don't know how much that really matters but they're trying to make it accessible to like the whole family god my mom here let me fix you you're like not quite okay um, my mom is gonna love this and I don't know if she's gonna be here Christmas Eve Eve uh, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I am so sorry. I want to be inclusive. Uh, I celebrate Christmas. If you don't, like, that's totally fine. Um, I just, you know, I'm in, like, planning for the holidays mode. So, that movie seems like it's going to be, like, heavily dramatic. And I just, I hope to God they don't kill off Iris. Like, I don't know how I would cope with that. Oh, do you hear my kid? waking up from nap <sighs> whatever I feel like in every video I do I'm like my son and his nap <laughs> it's become like nap time chats all the time uh anyways I'm really excited to see this it looks really good like really good I'm just worried about my mental state when I'm finished with the movie because it looks like they're really gonna be like in that trailer like the majority of the scenes you saw were like him screaming for Iris trying to save her. It looks like whatever happened to the planet is still killing him. Cause he like throughout the trailer, you saw his like health uh, deteriorate. So like who the hell is going to watch that little girl when he dies? This movie makes me very nervous. <laughs> really and truly like, what are you thinking? Do you, do, are you worried about how you could handle watching this movie? Um, if I didn't have kids, that wouldn't bother me at all. I'd be like, Meh. it's a movie, you know, as long as they didn't kill the dog. <laughs> but now I like, because my daughter is like four, movies like that, like they like do something to me viscerally. And I, you know, um, let me know in the comments below if you can relate, if you're planning on watching this. Um, do you, like, I, I love George Clooney. I had such a huge crush on him when I was like, three or four when he was in the that what that ER show um all right well <laughs> here's my makeup there's the moment it has passed and I will see you next time on the movie and makeup moment let me know if you're planning on watching this all right thanks bye